Hello, dear class three students. Welcome back. My name is Ben. Today we'll start uh, part two, uh, lesson five, that is plants around us. So you can all turn to page 100, 100. Now, after studying this lesson, we will learn about different, different parts of the plant, as well as we will learn about different types of a plant. So students, we see different plants around us. Some are very big, some are of medium size, and some are of small size, right? So do you know their names? We will learn in this chapter. So students, this story, uh, this chapter, it starts with a story, okay? And you are all excited with a story, right? So we start with a story uh, regarding two friends, okay? Wang Niu and Asibe. Now they were best friends. Now you can see here they are having fun, right? So one day they visited Wang Niu's uncle. So this is Wang Niu, okay? So they visited Wang Niu's uncle. So uh, Wang, this is Wang Niu's uncle. And he, let me tell you that he's an agriculturist, okay? Agriculturist. And he is very interested in planting, in gardening. And he keeps his surrounding very, very clean. Okay? So now when, when Wang Niu and Asibe, they reached the uncle place, the uncle was gardening, as you can see here. Now, this uncle, when he saw both uh, Wang Niu and Asibe, he was very happy. And he told them that, today I will teach you about different parts of the plant. Okay? So that's how the story started. So from here, I'm going to teach you about the different parts of the plant. Okay? So students, here we can see a tomato plant. So this is how a tomato plant looks like. So students, you can see here, this is tomato and this is the plant. Now we cannot say that this is a tree, right? nor we cannot say that this is a very small plant. So from here, I will teach you the different parts of the plant. So here, this is the structure of a plant. And students, we can see here, these are the roots, and then the upper part of the ground. This is the ground. This line is the ground, students, and we have the upper part of the ground. So students, I did not write any names here because I want you all to mark in, the, in your textbook with a pencil, okay? So here, plants generally we have two types. That is the shoot part and the root part, okay? Let's say it again, the shoot part and the root part. So the lower part of the ground the lower part of the ground where uh, we can see the roots here, it is called the roots, okay, roots. And the upper part, the upper part we call shoots, the upper part of the ground we call shoots, S-H-O-O-T-S, okay. So students, here we can see this is a leaf, right, this is a leaf. Now, students, this is a stem, okay? And here, this is a flower, okay? This is a flower. And students, we can see some branches there. And you can, we can see, students, a fruits here, okay? So, students, this is uh, a plant, and now we have learned its structures, okay? So, the lower part, we have only the roots, and the upper part, in the shoots part, we have the leaf, we have the stem, the flower, the fruits, and the bud. Okay? Now, students, like I have said, we have different plants, right? We have plants of different, different sizes. So, students, the first type of plant that we are going to discuss is trees. So you can see here trees, right? So students from here we can see three different trees. 
right? The first here, the first tree that we see is a cherry tree. It's a cherry tree. And the middle tree that we can see here, it is a mango tree. Do you all like mango, students? It is a mango tree, okay? So, students, and the third tree that we see here, it is a neem tree, okay? Neem, N-E-E-M, neem tree. Now, like I've said, since we see plants of different sizes, right? So plants that are very huge, plants that are very big are called trees, okay? They have a woody stem. You can see here, this is the stem, right? This is the stem. They have a woody stem, which is very strong, which is very, very thick, okay? Now, students, uh, the examples, you can write a cherry tree, a mango tree, and a neem tree, okay? Now, students, we will learn about shrubs, okay? Shrubs. So, let us all try this spelling, shrubs, S-H-R-U-B-S, shrubs. Now, example, students, we can see here a rose. Right? A rose plant here, in the third one here. So students, shrubs, they, uh, these are plants which are medium size. Okay? These are not trees, these are a medium size plant. Okay? So uh, students, these shrubs, their stem, they also have a woody stem. Okay? It, they also have a woody stem. They are strong but they are not that strong like the trees, okay? But they are also not very small, and their stems are also not very weak. Now, students, the third type of plant that we will see is herbs. Now, herbs, these are the small-sized plant that we see. We can easily uproot them. We can easily uproot them. Because they are very weak and fragile. They have a slender stem. Okay? And their stem are green in color. As you can see here. Now this is a mint plant, okay? Mint plant. M-I-N-T. B L A N T, a mint plant. So, students, these herbs you have learned, right? H E R B S. These are plants which are very, very small in size, and their stems are very weak, and their stems are green in color. And the example is mint. So, students, from here we have learned three different types of plants. Plants, they are different in size. And from plants, we get many important products, right? So these plants, we will differentiate into three parts. That is, the trees, which are very, very big plant, and the shrubs, which are medium-sized plant, and herbs, which are small size plant okay so now students we have learned about the different parts of the plant we have learned about the different types of plant now we are going to see the things we get from plants you know students we are so much dependent on plants plants give us fruits plants give us vegetables okay now do you see these students this is a medicine we get medicine from plants okay now students do you see this do you see these students this so this is a tea leaf okay and this is a tea garden so students we get tea leaf from plants Everyone, every morning, we, uh, we drink tea, right? In the afternoon, we drink tea. So students, where do we get this 
tea from, from the plant. And this notebook is very important for all of us, right students? We write all our questions and answers in this notebook, right? So students, all these are obtained from plants. So you see students, we are so much dependent on plants. So students, you can have a look on things we get on uh, pl from plants. So these are all very essential and these are all very important. And we need all this, all this product in our everyday life, okay? We need all this product in our everyday life. Now students, we are going to learn something. We are going to learn about this. Now what you can learn from here, students? Now here, your friend, he's taking care of the plant, he's flowering them. So students, Today, from this picture, we are going to learn about the importance of planting a tree. Now, students, uh, we should, every one of us, we should plant our tree to take care of our surrounding, to take care of our environment, okay? Because, students, from plants, we have already learned what products we get. But very, very important thing that we get from plant is oxygen. Okay? We human beings, every one of us, we need oxygen. And who gives us that oxygen? Do you know, students? Plants. The plants, they give oxygen. And we human beings, we people, we breathe in, we take in that oxygen for our survival. So students, we should plant more trees. Okay, we should plant more trees. Now students, even our mother earth, our mother earth, because of all this uh, deforestation, because of all this cutting down of trees, and because of all this uh, pollution, our mother earth, our Mother Earth, we should protect. Because it gets, our Mother Earth also needs tree. Okay, students? Students, have you heard about global warming? To prevent this global warming, students, we should plant more trees. Okay? Because it is a cycle. It is a cycle. And planting more trees can help every one of us from many ways. Not only the oxygen that we breathe in, not only uh, from the things that we get from plants, but students, it can protect us from many natural disasters, like floods, okay, like floods where there's a huge river overflowing, water overflowing, okay? From the soil erosion, where there's a degradation, where the soil degrades, and it will take many lives, it will take our house. So students, when we plant more tree, it absorbs the water from the roots, okay? Here we can see, when we plant more trees, we have learned about the roots, right? So the root, what they do, they absorb, they take all the trees and they make the soil very strong. Thus, it will prevent uh, us from the soil erosion. And we have to protect our mother earth. So for that, what we can do is we can plant more trees, okay? So students, that comes to the end of the lesson. And now we will summarize. Let's recollect what we have learned from this lesson. Okay? We have learned about two best friends, Wang Niu and Asibe. Right? Uh, they visited Wang Niu's uncle's place. Now, what does the uncle do? The uncle is an agriculturist. And, our, and Wang Niu's uncle, he's very fond of gardening. 
right? He keeps his surrounding clean. And he knows every small details about the plants. Okay? So students, uh, that day, the uncle taught both Wang, uh, Wang Niu and Asibe about different parts of plants and different types of plants. So students, let's recollect the different parts of the plant. So students, in plants, we generally we categorize them into two parts. That is the shoot part and the root part. So where is the shoot part? The shoot part is the upper part of the ground. The upper part of the ground where the plant grows, it is the shoot part. In the shoot, we will see the leaf, we'll see the stem, we'll see flowers, we'll see fruits and buds. Okay? Now, in the root part, we see roots. Okay? R-O-O-T-S, roots. Now, students, we have learned about different types of plants. Okay? Now, this is different, student, okay? Now, see, you have to know the difference between different parts of plant and different types of plant. Now, when we say different type of plant, means plants of different type. Since we have different sizes of plant, right? All plants are all different size. So, depending on that, we have three types of plants. So, the first type of plant is are trees. And trees, these are a big plant. And their stem are very, very strong. Okay? Now, students, the second, the second type of plant is shrubs. Now, shrubs are medium-sized plant. They are bushy. Okay? They are strong. Their stem, stems are strong, but not as strong as trees. Okay, now the third type of plants are herbs. Herbs, H-E-R-B-S, herbs. Now herbs, they are very fragile. Their stems are green in color. And we can easily uproot them. Okay, since they are very, very weak. But irrespective of their size, they play a very important role. Okay? And we have also learned example of all the three different types of plants. So for trees, you can write neem tree, mango tree. For shrubs, you can write rose. Or a rose plant, or you can even write a lady's finger plant. Okay? And for herbs, we have many, okay? We have coriander plant, we have also mean plant, many plants. So that is the different uh, types of plants. And the last thing we have learned about the things we get from plants and also why planting a tree is very important. Okay? So students, if I have to tell you write five things that we get from the plant, then what will you write? Okay, we get medicines, right? We get rice, we get a tea leaf, students, we also get fruits and vegetables, right? Now, students, we have many things, okay? Not only five things, but we have many things that we get from plants. Now, planting a tree, that was the last topic that we learned. Now, planting a tree is very important. Because from plants, we get oxygen, okay? And for our survival, we need oxygen. And also to protect our, everyone, to protect it, planting a tree, it will protect us from the natural disaster. So everyone, I will encourage you to plant a tree. So that comes to the end of the lesson, students. Thank you so much.